Welcome to the Trend Micro Deep Security video series. My name is Nick Russo, and I'm a customer service engineer on the hybrid cloud support team. In this video, we're going to discuss scoping your environment for the deep security platform and identifying workloads to be protected. The deep security platform is capable of protecting many different types of environments, including on-premise physical servers or VMware environments, cloud-based platforms like AWS or Azure, and coming soon, Google Cloud, We'll also cover growth considerations as your environment changes. Additionally, we'll review some tips for dynamic environments that systematically create and terminate machines. For those customers with a VMware environment, we have the ability to protect machines without installing an agent using most protection modules available with the agent. The protection modules that can be leveraged with agentless protection depends on the NSX license you have installed. The anti-malware and integrity monitoring protection modules are available with the free NSX license. While the firewall, intrusion prevention, and web reputation are supported with the NSX Advanced or Enterprise license. Application control and log inspection are not available using agentless protection and require the agent to be installed. The Deep Security Manager also has the ability to synchronize with AWS in many different ways. You can sync using a manager instance role and cross account role. You can use this method if you want to add other AWS accounts that don't belong to the Deep Security Manager server instance. You can use this method with Deep Security as a Service, Deep Security AMI from AWS Marketplace, and Deep Security on-premise on an EC2 instance inside of AWS. You can also sync with an IAM user and cross-account role. Use this method if you want to add several AWS accounts and the Deep Security Manager server is outside of AWS. You can use this method with Deep Security VMs for Azure Marketplace and Deep Security on-premise on a server outside of AWS. You can use the manager instance role, which is a single AWS account. You can use this method if you want to add the AWS account that the Deep Security Manager belongs to. You can use this method with Deep Security AMI from AWS Marketplace and Deep Security on-premise on an EC2 instance inside of AWS. With AWS access keys, you can work with all different deployment types, but it's only recommended if your Deep Security Manager is on a server outside of AWS and you only have one AWS account to add or if you've tried another method and it doesn't work. For all other scenarios, we recommend you use another method. Specifying access keys in Deep Security Manager is discouraged because the keys need to be updated periodically for security reasons, which creates management overhead. You can use this method with Deep Security as a Service, Deep Security AMI for AWS Marketplace, Deep Security On-Premise, and Deep Security Manager VM for Azure Marketplace. If your workloads exist in the Azure platform, you can synchronize with that service to list all of your machines. There are two methods for syncing to an Azure account, the quick method and the advanced method. The quick method requires an Azure account that has been assigned the global administrator role for the Azure Active Directory and the subscription owner role for the Azure subscription to access your Azure resources. The advanced method involves creating an Azure app for the Deep Security Manager that provides read-only access to Azure resources. The advanced method does not require you to assign global or owner roles and must be used if your VMs are spread across multiple Azure subscriptions. Your Deep Security Manager can also be synced with VMware vCloud Organizations or vCloud Air Data Center. When synchronizing with a VMware vCloud platform, it's recommended to have a dedicated account with the appropriate permissions for the sync. In a future release of the Deep Security Manager, we'll have the ability to also synchronize with a Google Cloud account. If you've had a chance to watch our video on sizing requirements for the Deep Security Manager, we covered the different recommendations in these tables for sizing your DSM nodes. When preparing your environment for the Deep Security Manager, you want to make sure to allocate a sufficient amount of resources based on the number of machines being protected. You also want to make sure you have your relay groups and servers deployed and assigned depending on where your workloads reside. Since the relays provide updates to the agents in your environment, you'll want at least two relays in each cloud-based location and two in any on-premise locations. For environments that are dynamically changing on a regular basis, we have different mechanisms available for ensuring protection is activated and configured in an automated fashion. For VDI environments, administrators can bake the agent installation into a golden image and activate it using an event-based task that waits five minutes from the creation of the computer to activate the agent. For administrators using orchestration tools like Chef, Ansible, and Puppet, we have a deployment script available that can be leveraged in your Chef recipes, Ansible playbooks, or Puppet manifests. Make sure to check out the links in the video description that lead to documentation and step-by-step -step instructions for configuring some of the sync options mentioned in this video. If you have any questions about setting up the features mentioned in this video, feel free to reach out to our support team and we'd be glad to help. Thanks for watching.